Welcome to eTrailer.com. Today, we're taking a look at the Swagman XTC2 Tilt here on a 2020 Ford Escape. Right out the gate, the big things to note for this bike rack are you gonna have a 35 pound weight capacity per cradle. It's not gonna be compatible with class one hitches for the inch and a quarter. It's only gonna work with the class two. And it's gonna have the frame hook to hold it down inside of the wheel loops, which is gonna make it incompatible with carbon frame bikes. Taking a look at how the rack sits on the back of the Escape here today, you can see that your back windshield is gonna have most of its visibility retained. Now, if your bikes are a little taller, that can vary. Your uh, taillights are gonna be fairly obstructed, especially when you have two bikes loaded on here, as well as your backup camera and your license plate. Now, another thing to note is because of the wheel hoop design that the wheels sit in on the, for the bike sitting on the carrier, they are a little exposed to the exhaust, so on those longer trips, that's something where I might check. Now, as the name implies, this bike rack can tilt with the bikes loaded. However, it's a little more cumbersome than some. It's gonna be a pin and clip down here on the bottom. Pop that clip off the pin, put some pressure up to uh, get the rack tilted. Then you can lean it back, so that way you gain access to your cargo area, being able to open your hatch. This rack can accommodate bikes with a wheelbase of up to 52 inches and a wheel diameter or wheel width, sorry, of two and a half inches with these loops. Now there are separate accessories you can get for this that allow you to have wider uh, tires. There's lots of points of adjustment here on the teeth for these ratcheting mechanisms on the hoops. Now there's also these little holes right here that allow you to put a lock through. However, the locks and cable locks for bikes and the rack are gonna be sold separately. To remove the bike from the rack, you're gonna start on the wheel hoops where you just have these rubber straps to help secure it in place. You're gonna undo both. Then we can come up here to these hooks. Then you have to remove both, but you can just hook them there on the exterior wheel hoop. Now keep a firm hand on the bike so that way it doesn't tilt back into the car or into the rack or you. But just lift up and over the cradle. With the bike out of the way, let's take a look at some measurements. The first of which is gonna be the total distance added to the Escape here today. We're looking at 23 inches from the lift gate to the exterior of the rack. That's a measurement you wanna keep in mind when you're pulling into a garage or when you're parking at the trailhead that you do have that extra space back here. The other one to keep in mind is your ground clearance. We are looking at 14 inches there to the bottom of this assembly, but we are pretty close to the rear axle of the vehicle, so I'm not super concerned. I think that's a safe number to have for our ground clearance. So when you go up a steep incline, the back of your vehicle will dip down. And so that's something to be careful of with your bikes on here. For storage, you can cut down on some space. Now you can't cut down on the total distance added to the back of the vehicle, but the width is something that you can take care of with these three pins down here. The center one, you can tilt the mast out of the way to get into your cargo area. Or you can pull both of these on the sides and tilt up the arms with the wheel hoops. This configuration is gonna be more helpful for if you're storing this in your garage or in a closet somewhere, just so that way it's cutting down on the width it takes up. You can just keep it tucked in a corner until you need it. You can see the adapter sleeve on the shank here that allows us to fit in our two inch by two inch hitch, but the actual shank itself of the bike rack can also fit in those inch and a quarter class two hitches. You're gonna have a threaded anti-rattle bolt on here, which is gonna cut down on the shake and play between the rack and the vehicle. And so that's gonna make it a nice smoother ride for your bikes. Now, if I'm dead set on getting a two bike platform rack for my Ford Escape within this part of the market, I might check out the Hollywood Racks Destination two bike rack. It's gonna be the same where it can work with two inch or inch and a quarter hitches, roughly the same weight capacity, but it's just gonna give you a little bit sturdier hold on your bikes on the back. And now, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm driving somewhere and I look in the rear view mirror, I don't like to see a lot of shake and vibration. And I feel like the Hollywood Racks Destination just gives a slightly firmer hold. Now, as far as the two bike platform rack here for the Ford Escape, I think the Swagman XTC2 Tilt does a pretty good job without necessarily bringing in all the bells and whistles of a more premium option. It does everything that I want a platform rack to do for my bikes without costing me too much. And that was a look at the Swagman XTC2 Tilt here on the 2020 Ford Escape.